tell us, how important was it to get this film made and what was the process like? Well, I think it was important because it's uh, Guadalupe is the most important um, symbol or sign or icon in Mexico. I don't think there's one more important than Guadalupe. I mean, perhaps the national flag, it's on the same level. Actually, Guadalupe was the first national flag of Mexico. So, you know, it's, it's really who we are. And as a Mexican, I think, being able to explore the origins of the cult uh, without making any judgments or assumptions of if whether the Virgin appeared or not, you know, was a very healthy process to, to approach the subject. Because that way, you know, you don't focus on what didn't happen. You just focus on, on what we know actually happened. And the rest should be left to faith, to, you know, whoever feels that the miracle happened and all that, it's in their faith and it must be respected. And how important is it telling the story of Guadalupe to people who are not familiar with it? Uh, I think it's very important in the sense that it shows how identity is created by images and stories. You know, uh, if you're not familiar with Mexican culture or the Virgin of, or the Mexican Virgin of Guadalupe, for that matter, because there's one in Spain as well, um, perhaps you can appreciate the, the syncretism of cultures and and uh, one more example of of substitution cults because this this is not unique to Mexico. I mean, this happened in Ireland, Germany, England. You know the practice of, of using substitution cults is something that comes from the 12th century. You know, it's, it was an, an open practice of Christianization. I mean, you arrive to a place and, you, you know, where do they pray to their God? Here, okay, so that's where, where we're going to build a church or we're going to, you know, pay an homage to a saint, you know, so it was normal practice. And how long did it take to have this film made from concept to, you know, production here and broadcast? From concept, uh, well, it took us four years, but also we had the, the year and a half COVID break, right? <laughs> a little bit more than that, it's only everything stopped. So I guess if you subtract that, it's like two and a half years. But that break did give us a lot of time to think, you know, things, you know. Yeah, so it's usually two to three years. Yeah. Mm. And what do you hope audiences will take away from seeing your film? Well, for audiences that are uh, Mexican-American um, or Hispanic, not sure if I agree with the label, but, you know, or, you know Latin. Um, well, I, I hope that they take with them more of, of their history and their heritage. And hopefully what will happen to them is what seems to be happening to, to people I've gotten feedback from back in Mexico, you know, that after watching the film, regardless if you are a person of faith or not, in the end, you feel more proud of your culture and more proud of, of being Mexican and, and more proud of La Virgen de Guadalupe. And I've got to ask, I noticed that you worked on the film Ride Like a Girl, which is an Australian film. How did you get involved with that one? Well, I had the opportunity to collaborate with a company that uh, in England called Silver Reel and uh, I was part of their team evaluating projects and I was able to comment, you know, on evaluating and recommending it. I think it's a great film. I think Rachel did a fantastic, you know, job as, as, a, as a first film. And, uh, and we always loved the film and we were very supportive and, you know, it gave me an executive producing credit, I guess, for supporting and liking it so much.